Hi, and welcome to this video, how do I customize an RDLC report layout in Microsoft Dynamics NAV 2015. My name is Klaus Wellström, MVP for Microsoft Dynamics NAV. This video was made in collaboration with Patan and Microsoft. At the end of this video, we'll have seen how easy it is in Microsoft Dynamics NAV 2015 to make changes to an RDLC report from inside the Rotator client. The objective of this video is to show you how to make a few simple changes to a custom RDLC report in Microsoft Dynamics NAV 2015. Many reports in Microsoft Dynamics NAV 2015 are based on RDLC. So far, end users, even power users, with the ability to work with RDL, have not been able to customize RDLC based reports. In addition, reports have not been tenant specific, so even partners might not have been able to provide a customized version on behalf of the customer. In Microsoft Dynamics NAV 2015, the platform changed it to support tenant-specific custom work layouts as shown in the previous video, and now also support for tenant-specific custom RDLC layouts. Out of the box, custom RDLC, RDLC layouts can be edited in the Report Builder. Step number one, create new custom RDLC report layout. We will select Sales Invoice Report 1306 from the Report Layout selection page. We will then open up the Custom Report Layouts page and then we will create a new custom RDLC report layout based on the Sales Invoice Report 1306. So we're now in NAV 2015 and we want to go to the Report Layout Selection page. So let's go and search for this. So here it is, Report Layout Selection. And we want to find the report that's called 1306, the new Sales Invoice, which includes both the Word and the RDLC layout. Right now the RDLCC layout is uh, selected. Now we want to go, go and uh, customize this. So we click this action here, customize layout. And we create a, a new custom layout. So we select new. And then uh, in the previous video, I was using the insert word layout. Now in this video here, we're gonna be using the uh, RDC layout and we wanna modify this. So I wanna click the inside, inside, insert RDLC layout button here and say, okay. And now let's uh, give it a description here. So this is my, uh, this is my RDLC or my custom RDLC layout. Step number two, edit custom RDLC report layout. We're going to select the edit layout, then we're going to make a few changes in report builder, and then we're going to save our changes and import them back into NAV 2015. So back in NAV 2015, we're now going to edit the layout. So we're going to select edit the layout, and Report Builder is now going to open up, and we now have the possibility to modify this report. So let's uh, make a few changes here. So let's take, for example, the address here, and uh, I really want to have those uh, marked in red, and one I want to have it bold. Uh, maybe I want to have the document number also bolded, uh, and uh, maybe I don't want to have this field here. I don't want to have this here. So let's delete this, and to illustrate that we have deleted, let's make the background, for example, the orange color here. Uh, and uh, maybe I could also, if I wanted to, I could move some fields around if I want to have that. Uh, then I also, just one last thing, I also would like to have this uh, header here. When I change this uh, background color, I want to make it gray. And then I want to make the font uh, white. So now I have done, uh, you know, just a small few changes in my report. And I want to see that my, my custom report is now, uh, I want to check how it looks now. So let's uh, save the changes. And uh, now we get back to this page here, uh, as we saw in a previous video. Uh, this is uh, very similar to the, the data box that we get when we uh, edit our layout in Word. Uh, so we need to uh, save our changes so to import it ba back into NAV 2015. So if I select yes, uh, of course I get it in. Uh, if I say no, then I don't get the layout in. So I'll say yes and import it in. So we're now step number three, where we'll test the report and make it active. So first we'll verify our changes in the custom report layouts page, and then we'll make it active in the report layout selection page. And then finally we'll run the report from the posted documents in the application to verify that our, now our report is the default one. So back in NAV 2015, we have now imported our layout. So let's verify and the report. And before we, uh, we actually make it active, we want to verify it. We are now in the custom report layout page. This is not an active report yet, so let's just verify. So I run the report and click preview. And I can see all the changes I've done over in Report Builder. My address field is now all red. My invoice number is bold. And I have removed this field here and I'll put in this orange uh, bar. And all the, uh, the headers here are now in gray and in white uh, color. 
So I'm very far now that this is a, the changes I've done. I'm very happy with my changes, uh, and now I want to uh, make them active, and I want to see them in my application. So let's just uh, run the vPod first before we make it active. Just uh, go to the uh, to the rotator client here, go to the process documents, and if I print this, sorry, this sales invoice here. So let's just print this John Haddock insurance. And if we print this report and we preview, we see we don't have any any of the changes that I just uh, created uh, in my custom uh, report because we're still using the built-in report. So let's close on this, and let's go make this uh, the changes. So we go back to the uh, to the page. So we go here into the report layout selection, and here we see that this uh, the selected layout is the IDLC built-in. So we want to modify that. We're going to go to the custom layout, and I want to select my custom IDLC layout. So let's select it. I say okay. And now we can see that it's now selected. So I'll be able to say OK. And now this is a default in the active report. And if I print the report again, my John Hedding Insurance report, and I go preview, I can now see my changes are done uh, in the system. So very simple to do. So to summarize, we first created a new custom RDLC layout. We then edited this custom RDLC layout in VPOP Builder and imported our changed custom RDLC layout into NV 2015. We then verified our changes and activated the report, so our custom RDLC report will be the report used when printing invoices. I hope you enjoyed this how to video. I am Klaus Lundström, MVP from Microsoft and MSNV. Thanks for watching.